Hello everyone, Ice Cools here finally with another video. Um, today I'm finally gonna be doing a video um, about stuff. Yeah, um, today I think I'm going to be trying a different thing. Um, today I'm going to be trying a thing called uh, story time with ice. Pools or ice. I don't really know what I'm gonna call it exactly yet, but uh, I'm gonna just kind of be a thing where I draw something and I kind of talk about something that may have happened in life perhaps a long time ago, perhaps just recently. I don't know. I, don't know. I have a couple of comic ideas kind of about this kind of stuff, so I, uh, I don't know. But anyway, I'm gonna try and start in talking about something and. Uh, yeah, I'm not too sure what, <laughs> still, but, yeah, uh, let's, let's start drawing and maybe I'll think of something as I draw. Is it focused? Whatever. Okay, um, what can I talk about? Um, I'm, this is also going to be a live, live, uh, I'm talking while I'm drawing, I guess, kind of thing. I'm not going to speed it up, because that's, that would make it. Less fun. Can you see? Uh, okay, I think you can see. Um, so, huh. Sorry, time with ice. <laughs> okay, well, huh. Where should I start? What story should I start with? Um, huh. <laughs> I can't think of anything. Let me start with maybe like a story that has happened indeed and has shocked me to no end <laughs> and has perhaps traumatized me as a child. <laughs> um, a long time ago, I'm not too sure how long ago, I um, used to used to. Uh, I didn't collect anything, really. I kind of just bought a thing that I wanted to get, because I don't remember why. <laughs> but, um, and that thing was called a Furby. Now, anyone who uh, does like Furbies or something like that, uh, perhaps disregard this. It doesn't really I'm not, per se, insulting them. I mean, I guess they're cool to collect. I just, I don't have very fond memories of them, and, uh, yeah, just saying. And, yeah, it was one that could, like, uh, talk <laughs> and stuff. And, you know, I was kind of just talking about this with, like, uh, my, uh, brother and sister the other day-ish, a couple of days ago, actually. But, anyway, uh, we, it was a thing that also my brother witnessed, uh, but what what happened? Okay, let's let's start from the beginning with this. Um, a long time ago, I bought a thing called a Furby <laughs> because I'm not too sure, and uh, I I liked it originally. I, I enjoyed having it. I thought it was a fun toy to have, and it was like one that could talk too, so that was cool. You know, I fed it. I guess fed it. I really just put a spoon in its mouth, but anyway, I fed it, and uh, uh, yeah, a ton of good things, stuff. I had it for quite a while, and I played with it, and then, you know, one day it was kind of just talking to itself, you know, it was just, it kept making noises. And I wasn't anywhere near it, and you know, it was weird, and I was like, ah, oh, man, that's kind of annoying me <laughs> now, and I didn't really want to hear it at the time, so I said, I, I kind of told my brother to take the batteries out, and, uh, I, I think I told my brother, something like that, and, uh, this was a really long time ago, it's still kind of a little bit hazy, so I'm not too sure exactly what happened, but, 
they thought some certain things that I remember. This, yeah, this is what I'm going to talk about. So if any of my family or something who know what happened, happened to watch this, <laughs> feel free to say, because I'm not exactly sure. But anyway, um, when, uh, my brother took it out, it, it was, it was quiet, it, it didn't stop talking, it stopped talking to itself, and it was, it was cool. And so, it was also cool outside. <laughs> and stuff. And then, I think, one day it started talking again. So I think I asked my brother if, like, he put the batteries back in, and he didn't. So I checked to see if the batteries were in. I think it was kind of hard to open to see if the batteries were in. I'm not too sure. It was a while ago. Oh god. I kind of wish I had a more clear memory of this so I could tell it better. But I don't. And, uh, and pretty much, where am I going with this story? Well, pretty much, yeah, we got scared during that time. It was talking without batteries, and it was, like, weird. Uh, today, we're kind of assuming it has, maybe, maybe has, like, an internal battery or something. But I don't, I don't know. It was terrifying. But that's not the end of the story. <laughs> um. What happened after that? Well, we were scared. <laughs> we, we, we thought it was some sort of haunted toy or something, and uh, it was snowing outside. <laughs> Where is this headed to? Well, um, I threw it outside. I buried it in the snow. I didn't want to see it again because it was just scaring me. I thought that was that, and I wouldn't see it again, and even if the snow melted, maybe, maybe they would, uh, my parents would maybe throw it away or something, and, uh, yeah, that didn't exactly happen. <laughs> what did happen was that the next day, the very next day, I woke up, there was snow outside, still, and my dad went outside to sell some snow, and I was like, eh, eh. You know, I buried it in, like, the grass part, so he shouldn't be shoveling that part of the snow. And, uh, uh, you know, and I liked snow at the time, and, you know, we used to play outside and stuff. And, um, I opened up the front door to my house. And what did I see staring straight at the door of the house? The Furby. I picked it up scared out of my mind. <laughs> For some reason, I thought to pick it up. And it said something. I threw it back into the snow. I ran upstairs and questioned how there was a furry. I was very shocked and very traumatized at the moment. And then my dad, and pretty much what happened was my dad took it out of the snow and he put it for some reason, facing exactly towards the... the he, I, I'm pretty sure he was probably confused why there was a Furby out in the snow. But, yeah. I think that's pretty much most of the story that I'm gonna tell, and uh, it's already going eight minutes. So, uh... I'm probably gonna speed up the video if you want to see, like, the finished drawing or something. Speed up at this point. And, uh... Yeah. Uh... I hope you like the video, uh, I don't really know if this is gonna be a thing that I'm gonna do the whole time, but, uh, yeah, I hope you like the video overall, and, uh, it's just a little story that I wanted to share about how freaked out I was about furries, and you know, I'm pretty traumatized by them, even today. <laughs> that was, that was a traumatizing experience, and, uh, <laughs> Uh, I will hopefully have more stories to tell in, throughout the weeks. I think this might be like a weekly series. Uh, we're gonna try and make a Ice Likes video um, sometime soon. I'm not too sure, really. And I do want to buy some manga, but I'm 
think I actually might actually be trying to get a tablet soon because I want to do some uh, digital artwork pretty much straight off digitally because I want to make a couple of digital comics because I don't know it's kind of difficult to uh, scan in things straight off the bat but anyway that's not the point of this video the point of this video is st story time with ice Ice schools or ice, I don't know. You'll see the title anyway. And so, yeah, I'm gonna be speeding up the rest of the video, so, uh, yeah, let me just say, uh, bye for now, and, uh, I hope to make more videos like this. This is Storytime of Ice number one, and I hope you like the video. Did I just repeat myself? <laughs> okay, well, uh, subscribe if you want, and, uh, yeah. Bye.